Well, your timing is impeccable because it just so happens that we have an opening right now. Yes, we heard and we're so excited. Everyone knows that this is the best private school in town. It says here that you have been homeschooling Juanita. How's that been going? It's been so rewarding spending time with my little angel. <laughs> Breaks my heart to see it end. Anyway, here's her lunch. It's all packed and we'll pick her up at four. Uh, wait, wait, just a second. There are a few other families on the waiting list before you. Oh, there are? Yes, but Susan Delfino gave you such a glowing recommendation. And to be quite frank, we could use a little more diversity in this school. It's been quite a long time since we've had a little girl of Mexican descent. Ah. Uh, well, we are very proud of our heritage, but Juanita can stand on her own merits. She's very bright. And I know I'm biased, but I do think she's a budding young genius. I'm Mexican? Oh, honey, what did you just say? He called me Mexican. You are Mexican, honey. You know that. <laughs> since when? I thought we were American. Yes, but our ancestors came from Mexico. <laughs> really? So we're like those people who sell oranges on the side of the road? You're busy. We should go. Thank you so very much for your time. And uh, again, we really want to join you here and help you with that diversity thing. So just let us know. Just say it. I don't even know what that means. Just say it. Adios, senor. Understand. How could you not know you're Mexican? We eat Mexican food all the time. We eat Chinese food too. Does that mean I'm Chinese? No, that just means your mother hates to cook. Well, apparently we have to spell everything out for you. You do know you're a girl, right? Gabby. What? Half the women in your family have mustaches. It could be very confusing. Juanita, go inside and play with your sister. And while you're at it, tell her she's Mexican, too! I can't believe it. We had that school right in her hands. How can we let it get away? The bigger question is, how do we let our daughter grow up thinking she's white? Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Solis. Hey, Parker. You're home. Perfect timing. Margaritas, what's the occasion? We're getting drunk, Mexican style. Principal Hobson just called, and Juanita got accepted to Oak Ridge. Seriously? I am free from homeschooling. No more fighting, no more threats, and no more parent-teacher conferences with you. <laughs> Come on, start guzzling. Uh, I don't think she should go. I've been thinking about it all day. Let's keep her in public school. We can't. She was expelled. I made some calls. Jefferson Elementary can take her. That's way out in Mount Pleasant. Yeah, and there's a lot of Latino families that live in that area. So what? We have a much better school right here in our backyard. I'm not schlepping way over there just so she can be with those people. Those people? Don't you mean our people? Our people are the rich private school people. Oh, my God, I know exactly what is going on here. What? You are ashamed of being Mexican. Oh, that's insane. No, it totally makes sense. All of our friends are white. You didn't want me to teach the girl Spanish. Because I don't understand it, and I didn't want you guys plotting behind my back. And when we bought this house, and I said we would be the only Mexicans in the neighborhood, do you remember what you said? Fine by me. You're right. It's my fault. I should have told the realtor, forget square footage and central air. Find us something next door to a mariachi bar. Deny it all you want. You are a self-hating Mexican. Oh, yeah? Well, you're a self-wiping Mexican. What does that mean? 